GTN, the J-Town Press went hot. <laughs> Viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Sir, please, is there anything I can do, sir, please? Don't do this to my wife, man. You don't know what you're doing to my family, man. Please, I'm begging you. I'm literally, where am I gonna put my feet? Sir, I'm begging you, please, please. Please. He can't do that! Get off my stuff! What are you doing? I'm listening. What are you doing? Get out. Oh, that's four now. You're under arrest. I'm the new honey boo boo of auditing. <laughs> and I told my fiance, and he just started busting out laughing. And I'm like, dude, that's not funny. That's not cool. I'm not the honey boo boo of auditing, dude. I'm not trailer trash. Come on. Why am I being charged with? I'm not trust in today's video we're gonna be taking a look at a video from georgia transparency and he's with his girlfriend lonnie well what are they doing they're frauding a post office again and causing trouble and getting everybody stirred up well i'm not gonna spoil it so sit back relax and enjoy the show <laughs> hi you all have to step out Okay. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Okay. You all can hear you. Thank you. Thank you. Why is a frauders in general breathe so hard? What is it? Is it just because they're out of shape? They're lazy? They're unemployed? What is it? And look at that place behind Georgie Boy, the Pittsburgh Market and Deli. I pray to God they don't have a buffet because that buffet probably got wiped clean. Mm -hmm. Who are you? So we got. Can you all please? please. Oh, I'm you? sorry. Can you please? And what would you? Need? Oh yes, ma'am, I will. You work here? Yeah. Can you all please? Yeah, as soon as we're done. Thank you. Yeah, as soon as we're done, keep gathering our content for our store, new store. Is it just me, or am I having a hard time hearing Lonnie over all that heavy breathing in the camera? So, is there passport applications here? We don't have. Any. Don't have any. Thank you. Oh, thank you, ma'am. I appreciate you. <laughs> oh, but you're allowed to, but we're not. Yeah. Why are you allowed to take pictures and record in here, but I'm not? <laughs> Have a good day. Okay. Please. Can I show you something real quick? Over here on your poster 7, rules and regulations governing conduct on postal property. Right here it says that for news purposes, photographs. Do you have an ID to show us? Please? Yeah, right here. It's my press badge. Now, if you read what Poster 7 says, it says may be taken. And then a little further down, it says, except where prohibited by official signs, security force personnel, or other authorized personnel, or a federal court order or rule. Well, that lady standing there, she's the other authorized personnel. She has every right to tell you to stop recording. Just like with the Constitution and every law out there, Frauders only like to read and point out certain things, but if they actually read this part, disturbances, they would actually realize that they are causing a disturbance. And look at that, it's Lonnie's press pass. How cute, isn't it? She drew that all by herself, and then unfortunately, Georgie Boy ate the crayons. Oh, let me see. Yeah, come on, right here, see it? Yeah. What Independent. You lie! You lie! Independent? Yeah. Part of the a bullshit? A bullshit? A bullshit? A I've uh, I've I've been advised by my attorney to not speak or answer any questions if police are being called. What did he say? Look at the legs on Lonnie. Look at those things. You know, instead of frauding, you should give up frauding and become a farmer. You could be a plow horse with those legs. Okay, can you all please? Thank you. Have a good day, ma'am. Can you all please, if you all aren't purchasing anything this time? I'm gonna. I'm, I might make a purchase. Because I don't want to run the other customers away. I, I'm not running them away, ma'am. Are you all safe with them recording you all? Safe? 
Oh, Rusty boy and Lonnie shut down the post office. You must be proud of yourself. You really must be proud of yourselves. And look at Rusty boy here chowing down on the on a chicken wing. He's sucking that bone marrow out. I bet he could suck a golf ball through a garden hose. Ma'am, why are you allowed to take pictures in here, but I'm not? Okay. I ask you all to please leave if you want to know because we have other visitors. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, and I just want to if you all are purchasing. I don't want to have Okay. Uh, okay, I just wondered why you're allowed to take pictures in here and allow purchases, but I'm not. Yeah, he's uh, a horrible, horrible person. Ma'am, what about my feelings? I don't give a fuck about your feelings. What if. I, what, what about the comfortability of my feelings? Oh, poor baby. <laughs> Do mine not matter? Poor Russie boy needs a safe space. Oh, poor Russie. Do you need a blanket? Do you need a bottle? Hey, Russie boy, what about everybody else's feelings that you're going in there recording or harassing with your camera? People don't want to be recorded just because you think you have every right to. And I ask that you do not record me. I don't give you the permission to record me. I don't. Okay. So I would appreciate it. Uh, I don't give you the permission to record me with your cameras in the ceiling okay. up there. I just don't. I just don't either, ma'am. Hey, Rusty boy, it's an easy solution. You don't want to be on their camera? Leave. I don't know. And I don't need you permission to record me. Mm -hmm. Okay. I was just saying. Okay. Thank you. 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 I'm not talking about the one you see in the picture because that's no lady. I'm talking about the lady at the post office. I hope this lady gets told this is how you do a privacy complaint against these idiots and gets her video removed because that's what these fools need. Keep attacking their videos. Keep getting it removed so we can hear poor Lonnie boy bitch about it. You come on in, sir. You next. Come on in. Just a Doesn't these two fools remind you of those kids when you were in school? You know those kids. Those couple of kids that were always screwing around, never paid attention, goofed off all the time. And now when you see them out on the streets, they're either so high on drugs, they're in jail. They've been arrested so many times that they can't even get a good job. So if they're lucky, they're flipping burgers somewhere for $8 an hour. <laughs> what the heck was that? Was that a laugh from Lonnie? Holy, I, I can't even say it. I don't even want to say it. I'm laughing, so it is. <laughs> Fifteen minutes later. <laughs> That's a fire hazard. Going to report to the fire marshal now. So these rejects of society get let back into the post office, and they record, they do their thing, and listen to what Rusty Boy says to this lady that asks, just ask him very nicely why he's doing what he's doing. Listen to this. Listen to how stupid it sounds. You know what you're here for. Right. Oh, just like a news story. Just uh, doing a documentary, too, as well on how to buy a stamp. Well, that's it for the show. Nothing really happens. The police don't show up. But you know the thing that really drives me nuts? What is the purpose of going to a post office and filming? It doesn't make any sense. Why would you do that? Why would you go ruin a patron's day that's trying to go in there, get a, get a stamp, mail something, and get out? And then, even, even with the employees, why do you even want to do that to the employees? What's the purpose? Why don't you, instead of filming places like that, a post office, or doing like an Amagansen press, and filming it on the sidewalk with your camera pointed at, at somebody's private business, why don't you go to Congress? Why don't you go to the Senate? Why don't you go to the White House and film all those people doing what they're doing and see what's going on? Well, I hope you like the show. Remember to like, 
comment, share, and most importantly, it helps me out a lot. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Somebody call the police on these. Somebody call the police. He hit me in the nut. See, they don't understand that I'm very well educated. Sir, please, is there anything I can do, sir, please? Don't do this to my wife, man. You don't know what you're doing to my family, man. Please. I'm begging. I'm literally begging. Where am I going to put my feet? Sir, I'm begging you, please. Please. I'm not trailer trash. What are you doing? I'm listening. What are you doing? What are you doing? You're putting your hands up. This is a public sidewalk, bro. Yes, it is. Who are you, bro? Who are you? Please, please, please. I'm on a public sidewalk, bro. Yes, I am. I'm on a public sidewalk. Call the police. Get your phone out. Call the police. Call the police on this. Hey, hey. This is a sidewalk, bro. Wow. I'm not in jail. Wow, they locked me in the damn room there. Yeah. It wasn't me. <laughs> What?